see. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Loot Crates here on Pastiche of Skin. This one is the second episode of Loot Gaming. Loot Gaming, if you have seen the previous one, it'll be sitting around up here in the corner somewhere. It is the second crate. This is not Legacy, this is crate number two. I'm, to be honest, I don't know. Don't know what the theme of this crate is. I've actually been off the road and been unable to check to get the details of this before actually getting this into my warm, wet hands. So I'm going to be actually completely unknown about even what's inside this. So let's have a quick look. <laughs> right, Metro. Metro was a theme. Ah, yes, I did get an email about this saying that it was actually I sold out. So let's see what's on the t-shirt that we get first. So up to the wide. Hi, guys. How's it going? Welcome to another video. It's nice to see you again. It's good to see me. It's good to see you. What do you think of my new glasses? They look kind of nice. <laughs> I should just change myself in the reflection. Now you can't actually see my eyes. I could probably put an auto scroll prompt here somewhere in the middle of the screen and be able to read it without you actually being able to see what I'm saying. Do remember that this is all off the cuff humor. This is not a single, not a single bit of this is ever scripted. Why the hell would I script something like this? Alright, let's see what we got on the shirt. Metro. Metro. Okay. Interesting. I wanted to take a look at it first before I actually showed it to the rest of the crowd. Metro. Bioshock. I just, I'm only realizing it now what it actually is because I've seen the water bubbles. I thought it was actually just like some dystopian city, but this is a Bioshock t shirt. It's a very simple design. Uh, I'm not too sure. I mean, essentially, it's a big daddy, right? It's a big daddy using the buildings to actually kind of like give the outline of it, right? Is that, that, that's what they're trying to do with the design. I like the look of it. Um, well, essentially on a black t-shirt, as usual, we'll see what it is. Rock me tees for the actual material for it. Don't mind. Um, I, I didn't, um, because I actually hadn't got the time to change this, this is still on triple XL. I don't need a triple XL. I mean, this is somebody, this is a girl's dress, <laughs> this size, you know. Um, material wise. Doesn't feel too heavy, doesn't feel too light. Uh, stitching seems to be reasonably good. I uh, wouldn't, wouldn't worry too much about it fraying too quickly. And the print is thin and light on it, but it doesn't seem to actually have a, too much of an issue. I like, again, it's a use of negative space on t-shirts like this. The print itself is the least important of it. The um, use of negative space with those little bits with the hotels and windows and lights on it. It'll do probably fade a little bit quicker, but you still won't lose the unique design that goes along with it. So Bioshock. Metro, makes sense. Uh, Metropolitan, I'm thinking going on that side. Um, Bioshock wasn't Metro, it was essentially the last city of Atlantis, so pfft, don't know how that applies. So we're going back into the crit, see what else there is. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That is awesome. Okay. Yeah, guys, that's, I'm liking this. I'm, I, I'm happy with the uh, material so far. A beanie hat from Stars Raccoon PD. Um, now it's again getting to that point of year where hats are going to be less worn, but I'm going to hold on to this one. Um, I do love it. I like knitted hats. I like wool. Just like the kind of they, they wear well. They don't sweat too much. They let air out. So this is an actual loot crate item. So it's an exclusive to loot crate. I'm sure, and not a single bit of it as wool. It feel it look. It's got like a wool effect to it, knitting, but it's acrylic. Eh, that's annoying. But let's see if we can get this motherfucker onto my head. Mm, oh wow, that is tight. Wow, okay. Hey, my bald head covered. I'm now a member of Raccoon City PD. So yeah, if you don't know, Raccoon City is the place that uh, Resident Evil takes place in. The Raccoon City PD is uh, the stars team. That's the people who are most of the heroes. Leon Kennedy was a member of RCPD. I'm assuming this is for the new Resident Evil game that's coming out. Uh, I think it's called Origins. But it seems to be a kind of squad-based shooter that's uh, with you playing not as RCPD, but playing as the the hunks, the um, the special forces from Umbrella Corp. As it, I think it might even be called Umbrella of some sort. But I think that that that's the most recent Resident Evil game I've seen out. Uh, of course, Resident Evil Six and the rest of them have been out for having on sale. I've seen those are on sales, particularly on PSN lately uh, for under fifteen quid. I haven't played a Resident Evil game since Nemesis, really. Well, that's a lie. I really, really enjoyed Code Veronica on the D Dreamcast, and we never got re-released on the PS2. Code Veronica was, was my jam. I enjoyed the hell out of that, but I haven't played any of the, the main series since then. But I have checked out the CGI series, or the CGI films. I really recommend Degeneration. Um, really, it was a, The CGI movies are fun to watch. Um, they remind me a lot more of the Korean manhwa that I read years ago of the original Resident Evil, which replaced a lot of the guns with people kicking things in the face 
and <laughs> that same physicality kind of a plays through in the CGI movies that uh, Claire and Leon and any of the characters are showing it are a bit more ready to get rough and tumble and get really close to zombies rather than actually like ah, 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 and running away screaming the entire time. So um, yeah, Resident Evil, good series. So also Metro on theme, they got it this time. A little bit, it's more solid with the theme. We see what you're doing here, Loot Crate. Loot Gaming has rounded itself off in the second grade so far, so let's see what else they've got in the box. Moving in again. Ooh. Ooh, Mirror's Edge. So, did anybody else get into the Mirror's Edge Catalyst beta? I did. You can go and check out the video right here. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. It's a Mirror's Edge watch. Now, it's got a rubber strap, has it? The LED watch? Well, I have. I mean, you didn't think about it. Uh, watches haven't really been a thing for a long time now because of uh, because of mobile phones. Like, who who carries a watch as much anymore? Uh, and what reason would you do, have to do that? Um, I, I like the look of this one. It's actually got patterning and stuff to look like uh, the the materials from uh, Mirror's Edge. You know, like uh, the the tattoos and the kind of like the marks and things that they have on their. Um, what I'm trying to say, the tattoos and the marks that they have on their, on her face and on her arm and stuff, they, they, they're almost like a digital glyph, they're almost more like a, what do you call them, uh, QR codes, you know, like they're actually readable, so, wow, okay, press here, oh, interesting, so that's essentially the way it works there, uh, put it in here in the front of the view, so you can see it's actually an LCD watch, so it actually has an LCD screen, so you tap it to actually bring it up on the screen and check it, um, that's kind of cute. And cool. I like the design on it. Uh, not massively readable, but I like the design. Um, that's. Uh, do you know what? Actually, that'd be really interesting for like a, a set yeah, cyberpunk cosplay of some sort. Uh, I might hold. I'm definitely gonna hold on to this and use it. But um, I'll probably I'm, if it's waterproof in any way, shape, or form, because it does feel like it is because it's rubberized. I'd like to wear this whenever I'm in the in the pool or something to actually be a timer watch. But I need to look into it see if it's actually any way waterproof because it, it could be a cheap piece of tat in that way. So Loot Crate exclusive. This is a unique item. This is really interesting. Fair play, Loot Crate, for actually going and doing something really unique on this side. I mean, it, it's a watch. It's a cheap watch, but it's a cheap watch with really good branding on it. So pff, fair play to you. Nice choice. My good move on. Um, let's put that on the side and we'll come back to it in a wee bit. I would put it on my wrist right now, but there's one of those zip ties in the back that I can't crack on camera. I would have to go off and get a thing and pff, why bother? Okay, what have we got next inside the crate? We've got the division. All right, what's inside this? <gasps> oh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. All right, inside that little division tin is a little figure of a gun. All right, so that's, I mean, it says you've got a biohazard symbol. So I'm assuming this is like a, like a loot drop uh, from the game. So it's a wee plastic gun. <laughs> I'm, do you know what I'm gonna probably do with this? I'm probably gonna put this gun into the hands of my Gundam in the background here. He's got a good enough grip hand, so you, there you go, replacement gun for my Gundam. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, a nice presentation tin. I do like it. The division on one side. Uh, UB Workshop. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's from the UB Workshop. Um, the division. A lot of people have been having problems with lately uh, because of hacksaws and modifications and uh, client side changes to people's characters and the fact that Ubisoft can't really do anything. So it looks like its multiplayer could very well be dead in the water, which is a disappointment. Um, I wanted to get into playing the Division at some point. I played the beta and I enjoyed it to a degree, but it didn't seem like the single player content was was solid enough to carry on for a full player game. I, it, it did everything that Destiny wanted to do, but without the kind of like the flamboyancy of Destiny. Destiny. So, I I'm, I was I wasn't bored of it whenever it's finished the beta, but I didn't I didn't, wasn't going to rush out and buy it either. So, you know, Destiny, nice work on the on the city and all. I really love the look of it, but um, didn't didn't hold my attention. And it looks like you're going to lose a lot of your player base. So, uh, good luck with that. Essentially, what happened was that the people were hacking the characters. They can't really be stopped because it's client side uh, processing, and for them to change their netcode to do that is a monumental task, according to a bunch of redders. And that means that Ubisoft will probably spin their wheels about saying they're going to make fixes for it, and then finally just give up and maybe just abandon ship, oh, which is a bad sign because their division was like a, a plan for them to have for like a perpetual revenue stream of uh, purchasable content in the future and all. So, 
Sorry, Yubi. Time to go back to the Assassin's Creed or the Watch Dogs. Do a sequel to those and you'll be fine. You'll get plenty of cash. So, what else we got inside the crate this time? We have our Metro Pin, which is a really nice design. I like that one. I'm actually liking the ga Luke Gaming Pins because they're not as gaudy as the normal Luke Pins. They're, they're, they, they do kind of... These look like the kind of things that you could actually pin to a tie kind of thing and they look pretty respectable. Um, I like them. I like, the, I like the Metro one for this one. I like the design. It's just a series of skyscrapers, but it's, it's it does look like a coin. Which is uh, kind of cool. I like it. So, what else is in here? And we've got someone from Fallout. We have a Fallout 4 metal art print. Which is essentially like a tin type kind of thing. Okay, wow. It looks like that one half of a steel case, you know? It's a metal plate, so you can probably even screw it or nail it into the wall. I like the design on it. Uh, with Nuka Cola, main character, and the dog. It's um, well made. It's. Solid. It's an interesting piece of art. I actually like this more than a poster. Um, I probably won't put it up on my... Do you know what, actually? I will probably go into the backdrop. But I probably won't make it onto my like poster wall or anything. I like that. That'll last. And um, for any of you uh, gaming fans who like to do other things, it's got a wee lip on the edge, and you won't slide any, drop anything off of it. And it's kind of nice and flat surface, you know, for things. You know, I just, just just saying. I mean, if you're a Fallout fan, fair play. You'll you'll absolutely love it. If you have other reasons to be using it, it's um, a heat resistant surface. Just saying. Just saying. Right. What have we got? <laughs> Center that. All right. What else have we got left in the crate? We got the Metro manual for this month. Of course, uh, the Division Loot Gaming exclusive weapon skin. So we've got a digital skin for one of your guns in the Division, which is um, great. Because uh, I don't play it, but you know what I mean. Oh! Oh my! Did not know this! Oh! Oh! This isn't just a gun. It's a USB pin. Ah! Ah! Very cool. Alright. And because it comes out of this... I mean, this is still a little bit awkward because it's got a curve to it. But... It's probably one of the least obnoxious USB gift pens I've ever seen because it'll fit into most drives and spaces, and it's a 16 gig. Yeah, guys, Ubisoft, yeah, fuck yeah. 16 gig memory card, always welcome, always cool. I'm actually happy with that, yeah, man. Damn right. Do you know what that's getting loaded with? That's getting loaded with music and then going into my PS4. That's exactly what, that's what that memory card is going to have from now on. It's going to be... Music for my uh, Share Factory videos. Great, oh, that's brilliant. Great, great guys. Very thank you very much. I'm actually really happy with that one. A Mirror's Edge watch, of course. Black silicon, lithium metal battery. Stainless. <laughs> well, you don't want to be stainless. You don't want to be making it white proof. Um, Resident Evil Stars beanie. Woven, 100% acetate, waffle, knit, midnight blue cap. It's also the fact that in the paper in this, it looks like it's a black cap and you can't see it on camera. The stars of stars. Fallout metal print printed. Yes, it's very nice. <laughs> it's, a, it's official concept art. What are you going to do? Uh, Bioshock shirt. The Metro coin pin. Oh, and this is what the epic drop was for this month. It was a pair of Astro wireless headsets. Um, nice. Very nice. That's pretty cool. Um, pff, uh, good gaming headset for listening to stuff. And, of course, all of our looters. They've been posting their stuff and their images of their collections, which I should do at some point. Um, this isn't my collection. This is a backdrop. My collection is in places, in multiple places. So, yeah, Luke Gaming, uh, Metro, much more of an improvement. I'm really happy with that. So, you know what? There's so little to actually do otherwise. I'm thumbs up to Luke uh, Gaming. They did a great job on this one. It's a really enjoyable crit. So, shit, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, <laughs> in fact, I'm, I'm flabbergasted for someone to say while I do the fold on the crate. I was so disappointed with the last one. Um, I spoke uh, ill of the company, and Luke Gaming HQ actually did respond to me on the YouTube channel explaining how they select their um, their winners for their loot crates. And I already said like an a, a apology in another video, but I might as well reiterate it now because this one's related to the last one. Um, that they do select them, that whenever they get them, they said you get a random looter number. Would you remember those cards that you got inside your boxes? Everybody's numbered as a looter like that. 
and that's what's entering you for a prize. And uh, those looter numbers are related to whatever subscription that you currently have. Uh, so you could win one if you're in France or Germany or whatever else, and they have no problems with shipping to those locations. It's just been uh, the luck of the draw, according to the uh, rep who got in touch with me over Facebook or over YouTube. So uh, apparently somebody from Australia won one, uh, one of the mini crits, but I'm looking forward to seeing whenever I would get mine. You know, like, I mean, obviously I'm meant to be the, because I complain about it, I'm meant to be the first person to win one. Pfft. Like, I mean, why wouldn't I? So, of course, that's what's going to be coming next. Uh, hopefully, it'll be in next month's crate. I'll be getting a nice big mega crate. Um, so, yeah, look at this. Metro. It is a metro city. Metro is the theme. Um, very cyberpunky, a bit Gotham-y. Do you know what? Um, I like the design on the inside of the crate this month. That's looking pretty cool. Uh, metro. Metro. And a Gothamite kind of thing going on there. Yeah. Um, not much else to say. Thanks very much for watching. That was Loot Gaming for the month of April. It was themed Metro. It was great. We got a USB memory stick. We got a Mirror's Edge watch. We got a print, uh, like a lithograph print type thing on tin, which you can use for other purposes. Come on, you know what I'm meaning by this. And of course, our Bioshock t-shirt. Um, and a size a little too big for me, but I, 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 it's coming to summer. It's loose clothes. I'll wear, wear shorts or so on and just relax. And of course, our usual little uh, booklet. Not much else to say, guys. Um, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.